John is unreliable, but we got... I'm here. I'm here. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm here. Uh, that's... This is, I believe... Yeah, this is loser summies. I be no, this is loser's quarters. Loser's quarters. Loser's quarters. I lied. And this is, uh... Whiteout versus KJ. Uh, Whiteout kicking Mars. Understandable. Uh, DDD versus uh, Cloud is not exactly the best matchup. But uh, Whiteout actually starting with a pretty convincing lead here. I don't think that's going to kill because of limit. But... That is because Tipper and 140%. Uh, why that's doing pretty good. Um, I don't know if he's ever beaten KJ. Um, but this could be it if he keeps up performing like this. If he can get a solid lead on this second stock, we'll see what he can do. But. <laughs> oh, you can't because it's not true. Exactly. <laughs> How's it going to touch Poopy? Whiteout playing it kind of smart. He's slowing it. He's, he's playing it slower. Finally. He's trying to play the spacing game. Because before he would play Rushdown Marth. And yeah, I know. That, Rushdown Marth is not the, not the way to play no. Marth. It's a character built around spacing. Rushing down with him is not the best decision. Uh, KJ it. might be a little desperate right now. Because that was kind of a random F smash. Um... The way he's playing right now is kind of reminding me of like K Icon against uh, Hero of Winds round one, where it seems like I mean he's doing cloud stuff and he's like playing decently, but he's not playing like as good as he oh. could be. Did you see that like that grab in the direction other direction twice, like stuff like that? So we'll see. Maybe it's just a game one losers quarters nerve because we all know KJ has never been in losers quarters. Right? Smart to go for the high recovery. It's scary to go low against Smart since his hitboxes are so big and launch you so far. I and mean, even if he hits the, the sour spot, like it's gross. Have you ever died to Marth's sour spot? Have you? No. It's ugly. Um. Uh, oh. Well, KJ bringing it back. Already, yeah. Already a stock out. <clears throat> KJ starting to feel himself a little bit. I feel like Whiteout's not applying enough pressure in the situations where he should, he should be. Like, when 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 Cloud's at the ledge, that's when you most want to apply pressure. But um, when he misses, like, if he whiffs one move, he backs off, like, hard. Um, which, I mean, is safe, but I feel like Cloud is scared at the ledge to do much because he knows that if he gets hit, especially at, like, a high percent like KG was at, where if he gets hit, it's going to be, like... It's smarter for Cloud to be playing defensive in that position, so... Tippers are strong, let's see what he can do. Side B. Okay, Dancing Blade. Random F smash, trying to get a reverse tipper or something like that. Mmm, this is scary. Oh, ooh. KJ got scared for a second there, he got spooked. He air dodged, you see that? He's still spooked. You see this? KJ spook. KJ does not want to get ledge guarded by Marsh right now. I mean, he also doesn't want to get tippered. Well, yeah, but that's the beauty. You don't want either to have. Oh. So you can't play too close, but you can't play too far. What was that clink, though? That, that reminds me of, like, uh... What was that? I think Yoshi fans, like, back air clinked with, uh, Dragonite's up smash or something. It was something ridiculous. Like, Sheik back air clinking with, uh, Bayonetta up smash. But a lot of things clink with it. I know, but... It's such a big move. I feel like it shouldn't clink with things like that. Oh. It's like when Donkey Kong's like F smash clinks with like a Mars F tilt. Ooh, that was a good forward smash. I'm not gonna kill. If that was a tip, that would have been it. Oh! Climb hazard takes it out. <laughs> Dying to a recovery. That's unfortunate. What's the set count between Mega Fox and Illusion? You wanna know? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was like uh, 3 1 Geo. 
Go away, man. It's, it's on. It's a hot mic. Come here, Shade. I'll turn it off. You want me to turn it off? I'm back. Shade, Shade faked me out. Shade, Shade made it look like he was gonna come over here if the mic was muted. But uh, he left. I don't know where he went. But uh, KJ takes a stock with like down throw to back air. I'm not sure if that's true. I don't know a lot about Cloud. No, well, it's, it's a DI mix up though. Uh, See, I don't know a lot about like Cloud or any good characters because I just play bad characters all day. Uh, I know Mars. I know what he's trying to do. What? He's trying to see what uh, Whiteout does. When he gets popped, when he lets him free of the side Yeah. Beam? Yeah. Because KJ tends to like... KJ's... I've heard KJ say, like, the way he plays is out of every single interaction, he's trying to get some bit of information to take advantage yeah. of. So, when he does little things that don't seem like they're that meaningful, later on, they tend to come back and bite at you when you're playing against him. You can't take any interaction with KJ as just like a neutral trade or something. You gotta think, okay, he's gonna be thinking what happens after that neutral trade? What do you do? And how do I punish that? How do I catch you off guard? And he just stores that information. He's like a computer or something. He sits there, he stores that information and waits for later to use it. It's really, a journal. Yeah. It's like a Shade does that too. They sit back, they learn something about you, and then they wait to like your last stock, and they go, Oh, remember this thing we did like two games ago? Oh, that was a nasty trade, but good on Whiteout for taking advantage of his character's recovery. Um, but yeah, they both do that thing where they just, they write in the journal, and then like at the end of the set, they like open it up and go, Oh, here's what he did. Hey, let me recreate that situation. And then they're like, Shade throws out his random F smash. Or uh, KJ throws out that limit cross slash. It's fun watching them play. Have you watched KJ and Shade play against each other? I think like once or twice. It's interesting. They're both like they, they have like the same type of play style. So it's really fun to watch them play. Oh. I wish I was bad enough to be in the redemption bracket. I was thinking about getting in there on purpose. Yeah, me too, because I already won $10 free. So. Thanks, Johnny. Shout out to Mega Fox for carrying me in doubles. Mega Yanni. <laughs> Mega Yanni. Uh, That's shitty. They call that the Atmos, baby. Marth wins that matchup? Um, they do well. I've heard it's... Even.